We are in your Uncle Joe's garage, outfitted by California Car Cover. Special guest today, indie car driver Simon Paginot. Welcome to the garage. Thanks for having me. Let's let's talk some serious stuff here to begin with. The vehicle you drive that you race on a regular basis, 800 horsepower, uh, V twin turbo V6, That's about right. two liters, which is the same as a lawnmower around here. <laughs> 1,500 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, the same as two Harley Davidsons. So you have way more horsepower than anything. Is it like driving a fighter aircraft? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And we've got those little wings yes. that pushes to the ground. But that's the opposite of a plane, basically. The faster you go, the more down the more, force, more the more down you. Can you tell the difference going into turn one if you're going 230, if you're doing 240 yeah. miles an hour? Can you tell the difference? You can. There's a point where, yes, when you go 220 and you go 240, there's a big difference there. Certainly in the eyes, it looks much faster. Um, it's always you get used to it after a while. When you've done 10 laps at 220, yeah. you get used to it. The image, the image slows down. But then you go 240, that jump is a big jump, and then you get used to it again. On the over racing is uh, that's the biggest thing. You know, obviously you can run on your own, but then you have to be aware who's around you. So we have a spotter, you know, on top of the track in the, in the grandstand. He's telling me basically if I have somebody on my outside, if I have somebody looking to go outside or inside. Uh, and it, it just brings more awareness to me, but uh, I, still have to be a, I still have to be responsible uh, for my mirrors and looking into my mirrors to make sure you know, I'm not uh, putting myself in trouble. When you drive on the street, do you miss having the spotter in the I ears? Do. I do. Little voices aren't speaking. You know they do those new things now in the mirror. They have those lights on the Chevy cars. Yeah. They have those lights in the mirror. <laughs> that really helps me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first car you had? What's the first car you drove? My first car was a Peugeot, a mm -hmm. French car, a 205, Peugeot 205 GTI, which is a, a little hatchback. It's a bit like the little hatchback on the Civic. Is that when they were doing the uh, rallying with them? Yes. Okay, there and we I go. I had that. There was a 130 horsepower, but super light car. Wow. wow. You saw racing for quite a while with your, with yes. your parents. What was the first race you can remember seeing? The first race I remember is Le Mans. Um, oh. And I was four years old. Wow. It was a really cool memory. I remember actually covering my ears because it was so, so loud, but uh, I loved it. That's also a different kind of race because uh, you've run a Daytona on that as well. Endurance racing, you have to maintain your focus for a very long period of time. Very long. I raced Le Mans in 2011, I finished second. I could see the car that won and when we crossed the finish line. So uh, uh, it, it's an incredible race. It's, uh, like you said, big endurance, big focus for 24 hours, a lot of emotion. It's, it's a roller coaster. You're also with one of the most powerful teams there is in all of racing, not just IndyCar, but also NASCAR, Roger Penske. He's always done everything top notch. And I'm just wondering how you fit into, he's got Elio Castroneves, he's got a few Indy 500 wins, and mm -hmm. he's very outgoing. <laughs> Juan, Juan, Juan Pablo Montoya, and Will Power, he's got his championship. So there's three guys, are they giving you serious advice? Or are they going like, is Elio going, Yes, I got all my rings on today here. How you doing, son? Is he doing that kind of I stuff? Hell, he has his ring on every day, you know, <laughs> and that's okay. He won Indy 500, so uh, it, it's a good atmosphere with the guys. Actually, it's it's been fun. I think the four, the fact that we're four of us, mm -hmm. that's an even number. It's a really good thing for a team. There's nobody uh, left on the side, and um, and we're just feeding each other with information. Certainly, I'm learning a lot from them. But you know, they also say that they get stuff out of me too. So it's uh, it's, it's you're really good. Their butt, they get something <laughs> well, I'm you. I'm not kicking their butt, but we we're trying to kick each other's butt every weekend. That's the thing. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here. Good luck. We'll see you out at the track. Thank you. Keep it cross. <laughs>